Hey guys, nice to see you. Now recently John Mayer performed with his trio at the Love Rocks concert in New York City and in this concert he played the song Vultures and today I want to check out the mid solo that he played during the song because I think it's really really cool. Let's check it out. <laughs> Alright now, the first part slowly. Now he starts out by bending up the 16th fret here at the G string, a full step. And then he bends up the 15th fret, only a half step to the 16th fret. And you can see in his right hand, or at least you can hear that, that he's really digging in. Place twice the root note at the 16th fret of D string. We have 14th fret of G string. Then he plays the root note and gives that some slap rubato. The next phrase is the 14th fret of G string. Then a fast pull off from the 17th fret at the B string to a 14th fret. Then the 16th fret of G string. Then twice the 14th fret of B string and it gives that some slight vibrato. Now the next leg is pretty difficult, it's the Hendrix bending technique where you bend up a note on one string and then you come back down on a, on a different string. You bend up in this case the 17th fret of B string and then you try to catch the G string 16th fret with the middle finger while all the strings are bent up. Place then the 14th fret of G string, goes back to the 16th fret here at the D string, then the 14th fret, gives the 14th fret of G string some slap about and then bends up the 16th fret of G string a full step twice. Next phrase begins with uh, three bend ups at the 16th fret. And you can see in the video he's doing this with his middle finger, which is unusual, but it's doable. And it's very rhythmic. And then um, at first I thought he's playing a 14th fret here at the B string twice, which is the 16th fret bend up full step. But he's actually keeping the bend up keeping the note band up and then he jumps to his 17th fret of B string which is a bit more difficult than just to play a 14th fret here now you're coming from here then bend up and play twice the G string and then you jump to the 17th fret of B string gives that some good vibrato then he's raking into the blue note here we are as you know probably in the key of F sharp and the blue note here is the C note at the 17th fret of G string. He rakes into that, slides into the 16th fret and plays that twice. And then he plays the and then he plays the 14th fret of G string. 
gift set som Slava Brother. When it ports up from a 16th fret, have a D string to a 14th fret. And then plays the 16th fret or A string. After that he plays the 14th fret of A string, starts with his middle finger from the blue note here, the C note, uh, to a C sharp. Then he kind of walks up the scale. Then he plays the 16th fret of G string and rolls his ring finger to a 16th fret D string. Fourteenth fret of G string, sixteenth fret. Then the fourteenth fret of B string, and then a four step bend up at the seventeenth fret. Followed up by the root note at the, the E string here, the fourteenth fret. Then he bends up the 16th fret at the E string a half step. Then 16 and 14. Then he walks up the scale to 17 and 19. Then again 17 and then a 4 step bend up at the 19th fret. Then he plays the 19th fret of B string, gives that some slider vibrato. And then he plays the 17th fret and gives that some good vibrato too. Now the next phrase is a classic Steve Ray Vaughan or Albert King style lick. It's the 19th fret of a B string. Then the 17th fret of E string and the 19th fret. And he's kind of catching the B string as well. And he's bending up the 19th fret of full step. And when, then with his index finger the 17th fret only quarter step. Then doing a bend up, a full step bend up at the 19th fret and catching the B string as well. Then the 18th fret of the E string and B string. He then set up a half step to the 19th fret. Then the 17th fret, um, a quarter bend up. And then he goes to the root note of the B string. Last but not least, he bends up his 17th fret of the E string, just a quarter. Now for the next phrase, he's bending up the 19th fret of full step. And he's actually picking from down below, you can see that on the video. And he pulls off from 19th fret to the 17th fret. He then plays the root note of a B string 19th fret and gives that some good vibrato. He plays that twice. He then quickly plays the 17th fret of the 19th fret of E string. He then bends up the 19th fret of full step. He then bends it up one and a half steps, which is pretty difficult at the top here. Then he does that twice in between. Then only a full step. It's kind of like playing this little melody. He 
he goes back the scale, the, the scale goes down the scale. And at the top here, the frets are not that clean in my case, so you can hear a little bit of choking. And then goes to B string and bends the 19th fret up a full step twice. And comes back down and gives the 19th fret some good vibrato. He plays this three times in a row before playing the 17th fret at the B string. He then slides from the 18th fret of the G string with middle finger to the 16th fret and then bends up with his index finger the 14th fret to the major fret. Followed up by the 17th fret of the B string and back to the bend up here at the G string. to the root note here at the D string, gives that some slower brown, and then goes to the 14th fret of the D string. Pretty long and difficult like in my opinion. Now that leg is very very impressive and to play it that cleanly at that part of a fretboard is actually very very difficult and you can see me in the video here struggling with it and it's uh, very very impressive also to play it at standing because the angle makes it probably a bit more difficult. Try it out for yourself. Well let's check out the last two legs. Now we are coming from here. He jumps then to the 14th fret of E string. And just set some good vibrato. He then plays the 17th fret of B string. And then this double stop here, which is the 17th fret, you can just keep your ring finger there. And then with the middle finger, place your 16th fret of G string. Then with the 14th fret with his index finger on the 14th fret. He play, then plays for the last leg for 17th fret at the B string to set some good vibrato. Then jumps to the root note here to 14th fret. Then he does a quick bend up to the blue note. Comes back down and puts off to the 14th fret. Then the root note. And he plays this twice and gives that some start vibrato. If you enjoyed this lesson, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, also consider supporting me on Patreon, I would really appreciate that and it really helps. And yeah, I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.